Hi, welcome to Pixel Art with Google Sheets and conditional formatting. Students can use Pixel Art to learn about perimeter and area and some of the computer science principles behind conditional formatting. Let's get started. First, open a new Google Sheet. The sheet will have its standard 26 columns and 1,000 rows. We want more than that to create even the simplest of pixel art. So we're going to create uh, a grid. So select the select all box right here. You're then going to move one of the columns so that it forms a square and all the rest of the columns will also become squares. You can also adjust the rows if you're not quite at perfect squares. Then you're going to insert an additional 26 columns to the right, make our, making our grid go from A to AZ. We now have grid paper for our purposes. Again, select the Select All box right above row one. In the formatting menu is where we set up the rules for conditional formatting. Format, conditional formatting. This is where you create the if then statements to color by number. In the format cells if column, select text is exactly. We're going to program our spreadsheet so if anyone types a 1 anywhere in the spreadsheet, it will format that box. Today we're going to program the number 1 to be painted red. So you'll notice that the range is from cell A1, a colon, to AZ1000, incorporating the entire spreadsheet area. Text is exactly the number one. If anybody types a one, it will paint that square red. Let's get started. Press done. Click in any box and type the number one and press enter. You'll notice it colors it one. Students can either press enter to move down or sideways using their arrow keys to quickly populate the cells using paint by number. However, the ones are now showing, and I don't want them to show, so I'm going to edit this rule. Click the Select All box and click your conditional formatting. If you accidentally closed this menu, go to the Format menu and open it again in conditional formatting. We can edit this rule. Not only do I want the paint bucket to be read, but I also want the number to be read and I'm going to press done. You'll notice now my numbers are not showing because the text matches the background color. Let's program another rule. Again, select the entire spreadsheet using the empty box above the one row. Add another rule. Let's add orange. Again, the range should be the entire spreadsheet. Text will be exactly two. Let's make the paint and the text orange and press done. Students can now paint with orange by typing a two and moving sideways. If they want to make corrections, they just click the box and press backspace. So you may use this to do any kind of drawing or perimeter setting, and that is pixel art.